Shalom, everyone. I'm Carol Boyd Leon, also known as Miss Carol. And I'm here today to sing for you nine quick little Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur songs that I wrote for young children. We'll start with Lashana Tova, the song that teaches how to say Lashana Tova. Rosh Hashanah starts the year Wishing you Lashana Toba, a very good new year. We sing it once, we sing it twice, we sing for all to hear. Lashana Toba, Lashana Toba, a very good new year. Now girls and boys, you be my e echo. I'll sing Lashana Toba, and you sing it right after me. Lashana Toba, Lashana Lishana Tova, Lishana Tova, a very good new year. I think we're ready to sing the song together. Rosh Hashanah starts the year, we're glad that it is here. Wishing you Lishana Tova, a very good new year. We sing it once, we sing it twice, we sing for all to hear. Lishana Tova, Lishana Tova, a very good new year. Just in case you're wondering what Lashana Tova means, it means a good year. Shana is year, Tova is good. To try to make sure we'll have a good and sweet year, we eat foods dipped in honey because honey tastes sweet and we want that sweetness all year round. Very often, we dip apples in honey. That sure tastes good. Here's a song called Way Up High in an Apple Tree. And it's got my smiling apples in it. Way up high in an apple tree, two red apples smiled at me. I shook that tree as hard as I could. Down came the apples, mmm, they were good. Apples can be red, apples can be green, apples can be yellow too. For a sweet new year, we dip them in the honey. Take a bite and you'll taste something very yummy. Way up high in an apple tree, two red apples smiled at me. I shook that tree as hard as I could. Down came the apples. Mmm, they were good. Sweet New Year. Where are the apples, apples, apples? Where are the apples? They're right here. Dip them in some honey in some honey. Dip them in some honey for a sweet new year. And let's add a little bit of Hebrew. Tapuach is the apple. Tapuchim are apples. Where are tapuchim? Tapuchim. Where are tapuchim? They're right here. Dip them in Davash, in Davash. Dip them in Davash for a sweet new year. Rosh Hashanah is the start of the year. We call it the new year. It's when the whole world is celebrating its birthday. We can even sing happy birthday to the world. Happy birthday to the world, cause Rosh Hashanah is here. Now's the time we celebrate the start of a new year. Dip an apple in the honey, mmm, that tastes so good. We'll start the new year out just right by doing what we should. Let's try that one again. Happy birthday to the world. Happy birthday to the world, cause Rosh Hashanah's here. Now's the time we 
celebrate the start of a new year. Dip an apple in the honey, mmm, that tastes so good. We'll start the new year out just right by doing what we should. The Bumblebee Waltz is a Rosh Hashanah song that's a little bit silly. It goes like this. They say eat an apple each day to help keep the doctor away. But apples and honey bring bees. That's not funny. They sting me and then to the doctor I go. Oh no. What kind of holiday starts out so sweet with apples and honey? A really sweet treat and ends with a mess on my face and my dress and finally leaves me in such great distress. Oi! They say eat an apple each day to help keep the doctor away. But apples and honey bring bees. That's not funny. They sting me and then to the doctor I go. What kind of holiday starts out so sweet with apples and honey, a really sweet treat, and ends with me wearing so dirty a shirt and also gives me such a very big hurt. Oi! They say eat an apple each day to help keep the doctor away, but apples and honey bring bees. That's not funny. They sting me and then to the doctor I go. They sting me and then to the doctor I go. No stings this Rosh Hashanah, okay? Okay. And here's really an all year round song called the Busy Bee Song. Sing this song along with me and we'll keep busy as a busy bee. Show how you can sing along to the silly busy bee song. Clap your yadayim just like me and we'll keep busy as a busy bee. Use your yadayim to clap along to the silly busy bee song. Oops, Birkhaim knees. You might not be able to see my knees, but I'm going to be bending them. Bend your Birkhaim just like me and we'll keep busy as a busy bee. Use your Birkhaim to bend along to the silly busy bee song. Arms swing your zero out just like me and we'll keep busy as a busy bee. Use your zero out to swing along to the silly busy bee song. Stamp your raglayim. Oh, okay, you can't see these either, but you can hear them. Stamp your raglayim just like me and we'll keep busy as a busy bee. Use your raglayim to stamp along to the silly busy bee song. Shake your etzba out your fingers just like me and we'll keep busy as a busy bee. Use your etzba out to shake along to the silly busy bee song. Place your hands on your roche and jump like me and we'll keep busy as a busy bee. Hands on your roche as you jump along to the silly busy bee song. And now wiggle your goof, your whole body. Wiggle your goof just like me and we'll keep busy as a busy bee. Use your goof to wiggle along to the silly busy bee, silly busy bee, silly busy bee song. I hope you were wiggling along with me. Now we'll get a little more serious as we sing a song called Promises about the importance of keeping a promise and what to do if you break a promise. Promises, oh promises, if you make them, don't break them. Promises, oh promises, they're for you to keep. 
Promises of promises, if you make them, don't break them. Promises of promises, they're for you to keep. If you break a promise, then go to the one whom you have wronged and say, I am so sorry for what I have done. Will you forgive me today? Promises, oh promises, if you make them, don't break them. Promises, oh promises, they're for you to keep. Promises, oh promises, if you make them, don't break them. Promises, oh promises, they're for you to keep. That's a good lesson for all of us. But we don't do everything right during the year. Sometimes we miss the mark. We make a mistake. And then it's time to say, I'm sorry. That's the name of this next song. I turn to you on Yom Kippur and tell you that I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you and I'm sorry if I did. May God hear me, may God let me start like new today. May God help me do what's right. That is what I pray. I like to do this song as an echo too, so that the children can hear my words, sing them right back. So I'm going to sing just a little bit and go ahead, sing it back while I whisper it to you. I turn to you on Yom Kippur. I turn to you on Yom Kippur and tell you that I'm sorry and tell you that I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. I didn't mean to hurt you. And I'm sorry if I did. I'm sorry if I did. May God hear me. May God hear me. May God let me. May God let me start like new today, start like new today. May God help me do what's right. May God help me do what's right. That is what I pray. That is what I pray. Let's try it all together. I turn to you on your tell you that I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you, and I'm sorry if I did. May God hear me, may God let me start like new today. May God help me do what's right. That is what I pray. We have another song about being sorry. This one's called I Am Sorry. This one's just a little bit zippier. Your part will be to sing, I am sorry, please forgive me. Mm -hmm. What if you hurt your best friend's feelings? Now what should you do? Say, I am sorry, please forgive me. That's the thing to do. You want to try that? I am sorry. Please forgive me. That's the thing to do. Good. What if you said something mean? Now what should you do? Say, I am sorry. Please forgive me. That's the thing to do. What if you take what's not yours? Now what should you what? Say, I am sorry, please forgive me, that's the thing to do. Oh no, what if you have pushed someone, now what should you do? Say, I am sorry, please forgive me, that's the thing to do. And this last verse is just a little different. 
It's not about me or you by yourself. It's about all of us. What should we say on Yom Kippur? What should we say on Yom Kippur when to God we pray? We are sorry. We are sorry. Please forgive us. That's what we should say. I think you've learned that lesson very well. So let's return to how we started. L'shana Tova, as I wish you all a very happy new year. Rosh Hashanah starts the year. We're glad that it is here. Wishing you L'shana Tova, a very good new year. We sing it once, we sing it twice. We sing for all to hear. L'shana Tova, L'shana Tova, a very good new year. Shana Tova, everyone. Happy New Year.